Hello everybody, how are you? My name is Chef Rob, my son Chris is here today, and welcome to Gadgets and Gizmos for the holidays. And just for baking, just for cooking, I have so many different things. I know it says about 15 different gadgets or gizmos, it's more than that, okay? Sit back, relax, ask any questions you want, okay? And uh, thank you for joining us. Libraries, please leave this on your website, Facebook page, you know, all holiday season, please. Okay? So, uh, Chris, you'll let me know, and let's get started. I have so many different things to show you. First thing, I use it a lot. Uh, it's a ice cream maker, uh, Cuisinart, and it is also a uh, gelato maker. So let me turn this around, show everybody the way it works. It's very simple how you put it together. This bowl... This little uh, mixing thing, and you put this right on top, and spins right around, and it churns ice cream in about 30 minutes. Okay, so now this is about $69. You can buy these Bed Bath and Beyond, Amazon, Walmart, Home Depot, even yes, not in the garden section, but you if you think you're just going to use it once in a while, sometimes they sell refurbished ones. They're like $29, $39, and there's all different colors, too. This is really good. Now, with this here, you have to take this bowl and put it in the freezer and make sure it's solid. If you can hear water in there, if it's not solid, it's not going to make ice cream good for you. So make sure you freeze this 24 hours in advance. Go ahead, Chris. And Prudy says, hello, Rob and Chris. Hello, hello. Prudy. And also, Patty said, hi, Rob. You have to let us know what you think about the Ninja Creamy. The Ninja cr Creamy? Yes. All right. I don't know if I have that one or that, but uh, you may have to let us know about it. I'm going to show you another one. This is a Hamilton Beach, like, smoothie maker. These I give out at the libraries with the children's programs. We do them as like, almost like prizes. A lot of times, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, they're about $15, sometimes even lower. They could be as high as $20, okay? What's good, it goes in your cup holder, comes off just like this. You put it on, go like that, and just kind of pulse it, and it will go. You can make salad dressings with this, smoothies, shakes, Anything like that. Go ahead, Chris. I just looked I just looked it up. The Ninja Creamy is basically a ninja, but for making ice cream, gelato, sorbet, and other frozen treats. Haven't used that one yet, but I someday I probably will. But you can't buy everything. So I, I had the uh, Cuisinart one. I like it a lot. And uh, so that's the one I'm sticking with for right now. Okay. Anybody has any questions or comments on these, let me know, okay? But this, to give out like a holiday gift, it's great. Again, it's Hamilton Beach and makes smoothies. It's got the measurements on here. Fits in your cup holder. It's really, really good. Some of these I've had in and out of libraries for five, six, seven years. So I am just going to keep taking these out of the way so I keep clearing the table. All right, this here, if you look under like potato masher, or this is a, you could take ground beef. So ground beef, sometimes you try to get it really nice and smooth. This here, you just kind of do it, you kind of turn it, and it will break up very nice and easily. I do, I use this a lot, and it's been really helpful. It's about $10, or something like this. It's a very hard plastic, okay? I am pretty pretty much full force on this so it's very solid some of these things you buy nowadays very cheap but this is really good okay so if you look under potato masher like this will come up but it's used for so much more just to mix thing. okay good Chris I uh, nope, don't see anything all right uh, if you watch my cooking programs all the time you see me using these cutting boards see how thin they are which is perfect Usually you get them in sets of like five, all different colors. They're flexible like this. So like, let's say I have some vegetables on here. I want to just take them and scoop them right into the bowl. I just go like this 
and it bends back perfectly. There's all different brands out there, all different colors. Do not get them at the dollar store because those are disposable. When you wash them or you put them in the dishwasher, they will look like that after a day and you really just lost a dollar, okay? Galax, is there a brand on that potato masher? Uh, no, there is not. If I, I want to say it may be OXO, which is O-X-O, if you look that one up, okay? And Janelle X, can you also let us know if the items are dishwasher safe? Absolutely. Dishwasher safe, especially this, this here. Again, there's different brands. And hello, Janelle. How are you? Uh, the ice cream maker is dishwasher safe. This here, the Hamilton Beach mixer dishwasher safe as well it's been through the dishwasher many many times the oyster bay east norwich library said i know the pampered chef has the masher okay all right so that's good to know hello marion how are you okay let's let's go to the burners a lot of you when you watch me do cooking classes you see me use these different burners okay now with thanksgiving coming up uh, having an extra burner around is really, really good. This brand here is called Broil King. They also sell the same exact one called Cadco. C-A-D-C-O. It is 1,500 watts. I have about five to six of these, maybe even seven. And because I have so many different buckets going for different libraries when I'm in person, as I am now. Um... This is perfect to have for the holidays company. Uh, it's about $130 for something like this, okay? But if you have four burners on your stove, you have a fifth one now, and you can go put this away. This will last years, years and years. If you want something a little bit smaller, just to heat up gravy or something like that, you get these little portable ones. They are all different brands. These are about... 12 to 15 16 dollars um, I use this when I'm just heating up a little bit of sauce something like that melting butter at the library uh, but good for the holidays Thanksgiving day as well some people are posting the um, where they found the potato masher and beef masher absolutely on Amazon it's it's five bucks somewhere around there five bucks good you got a better price than I did and Judith said, or X, will this be available later? Because your live program has been freezing up on me and I've missed some of the important information. Yes, if your Wi-Fi is cutting out or something, then you can always come back to this later on and the, you'll find the whole video on here. Absolutely. And all the libraries, again, keep it up on your site for your folks to enjoy all month, next month, all along, okay? The air fryer has gotten so, so popular. I love it. You can have one in your regular home oven, okay? Is it good? It's good. But this one here, the original one that came out, the air fryer, I feel is better, okay? It will get it cr more crisp. It is very easy just to take this out and dishwasher it, okay? Um... I'm going to tell you some good things about the air fryer as Chris zooms in on all the different little features on this. Okay, takes up less space. You can cook a whole chicken in about 30 minutes at 360 degrees. You can cook raw foods and frozen foods. And you can put the put aluminum foil in a fry in the air fryer. It will work. So if you need to put it in the basket so you don't want you want easy cleanup, that will work. You get less calories, crispier, healthier food. It's so little to clean up as well, okay? But it is easy to burn food. So I wanna tell you the pros and the cons. It is so, cause it is so hot so quickly in such a small uh, condensed space that you wanna keep an eye on it. That like, if you're doing like a fried chicken in here that you don't burn those crumbs, okay? Preheats in about, a uh, regular oven is about 10 to 15 minutes. This is just a couple minutes. Go ahead, Chris. Marion said, hi, I'm well. Emily said, hello, Chef Rob. And oh, no. Adeline X, what's a good frying pan? 
a good frying pan. I have ju I just bought some uh, recently, and I had some for many years ago in um, Costco. And they have, and I would say actually wait until like that Black Friday, because and you can get them online. And it was a set of three, and it is a uh, Henkel is the brand, okay? And they do not start to warp and bend and get unbalanced and all that. Henkel is a very good knife, but it, they also make some really good uh, saute pans as well, too. Judith said, I also have the Emerald Air Fryer for when I need to make larger quantities. And Gail asked, again, what brand is the air fryer? This, this air fryer, believe it or not, just says Power Air Fryer. This is the one that originally first came out that, like, they were the only ones, the only air fryer, but now they have Ninja, Cuisinart, KitchenAid, everybody makes them, okay? But this one's really good. This one actually came from Kohl's about two years ago. Love it. It's great. Health keeps you healthy, too. So I am going to slide this away here. The Monmouth County Library X. Hello, Chef Rob. Can you recommend a slightly larger air fryer, please? Uh, as far as a brand, now, you know what? Uh, I have this one. This one I know works really well. Uh, I would just do my homework. I would read a lot of the different reviews, the pros, the cons. If you're going on a site, say, is like Amazon, I would say it's got to have a lot of good reviews. And just the, if there's just a few bad ones, you can be assured that it's, it's pretty good. But hang in there right until even the days before Thanksgiving. They're going to have the sales early this year, okay? And do a lot of your shopping online because... If you see something in Target and they don't have it, and by the time you get to another Target, they're not going to have it. They said keep every, go online and have it sent to your house because you're going to get more of a chance to get that product. Okay? Not everybody is online, but if you know somebody, that is perfect to do that. Lynn said, hi, Rob. Hello, Gail Lynn. said, I have, a Be I have a Bella, but never used it. Okay. Um, Craig said Bed Bath & Beyond has an all-clad 10-inch and a 12-inch frying pan for 35 plus the coupon, matching glass covers, too. Marion said Cuisinart makes a good big one, and so does Instapot. Okay, and uh, the all-clad one, I have a grill from there, and their products are, they are top. They are really, really good. So, everybody, I'm going to move on to the knife sharpener. I have two different ones. I'm going to show you this one. It's a little hand one. Okay, I'm going to put this right up here. Okay, this these are about $10 as well. And all you have, and this one is called Chef's Choice. And you just go from side to side. Okay, and you will get such a nice edge on your knives, just like this. There's also one called Chicago Cutlery, which is really, really good. Okay, and if you just kind of... See, I'm brushing my finger sideways on this. I could just feel that beautiful edge on there. I also have this one here that I absolutely love. So if you are into cooking, you have to get this one. This one is called Work Sharp by Ken Onion. Uh, it's about $129. I know it sounds like a lot, but over the years, when you keep sharpening your knives, okay, they're gonna, they come out great. They sell the replacement belts for this as well. These are about $12 for this. And you get all different uh, belts in here because some are extra coarse, some are very smooth, fine. Depends on what you are doing. Okay, go ahead, Chris. The Huntington Library said, Hi, Chef Rob. Can you suggest a good cookware set for an induction cooktop? A good cookware set for an induction uh as far as names, uh, I can't say what names, like, uh, not that I can't, but like, I have my certain ones here, and you can't try every certain brand all over in that. So I don't know uh, one for the induction that I would just go on Google and just kind of put in uh, cooktop for uh, the induction, and uh, they should show you a lot of different ones, and just read all the different reviews, okay? With the pots, the pans, 
you do want to spend a little bit of money, you get them at a Walmart, a Target, they can be a little flimsy and not as good. Sometimes the clubs, you get really good ones, a real low price, especially coming into the holidays now. Uh, I am going to demonstrate this in one second. Chris, go ahead with the question, then we'll go. Uh, let's see. Patty X, do you, do you recommend a stainless steel frying pan or a nonstick? Uh, I use both. It depends what I'm using it for. The nonstick, you know, of course, with eggs or you want to saute vegetables. Uh, a regular frying pan without the nonstick, if you want to get a nice sear on something, you can use a pan like that as well. Uh, then also, Robin said, hi, chef. Can Hello. you can you show us how to use the larger knife sharpener? The larger one? I am going to show you here right now. This one here, again, it's Work Sharp by Ken Onion. It's about $129. I've had this for about seven years. And... All you have to do, it's plugged in, okay? So if you're not familiar with holding something like this, working with something like that, just be cautious. You want to have either glasses, goggles, something like that. You don't want to do it over the table where there may be food or you may be cooking on later because you're going to get little parts of the knife uh, to kind of go on the table. So you just kind of turn it up and it's... You can see it just kind of grinds it just a little bit. Now there are pros and cons with this. Definitely more pros. So I would buy this again in a heartbeat. Okay. What will happen is you will get the sharpest knife you have ever had. Okay. Um, don't have anything I can. All right. So uh, it's just got a beautiful edge on it. Uh, the one thing with this, when you want to change the belt, just squeeze this, pops right off, put a new belt right on it, okay? And it's really, really good. Um, let's see, any questions, Chris? Yes, Judith X, should the sh knife sharpener be used for serrated knives as well? Well, serrated knives, I would not take a serrated knife such as this because once you put it on here, you are going to, you start losing knife over time, okay, as you grind it down. That's why you only use this on occasion, when it's really, really dull and you want to bring it back to life. This knife here used to be a serrated knife, okay. This is back from 1986, this knife. So, what I would do is just take this one, since the serrated has worn off over the years, you make it into a regular traditional knife. And... I just kind of slowly grind it and it will put a beautiful edge right on here. Okay, just those few times doing it because you don't want to grind it too long because you don't want the knife to all of a sudden become really, really small on you. ProFriend said, hi, Chris and Chef Rob. How are you? I was wondering Chef what you use to grate hard cheese. To grate hard cheese? Uh, if I'm doing like a Parmesan Reggiano cheese, I would use something like this, and it's called a microplane. I always tell everybody, this is about $6 for something like this. This brand here is pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to have Chris zoom in on it. And you always want to have something at the bottom of it, because they do sell some of the microplanes that are just the metal, and they just keep, as you're doing it, you're grating it, it slips. This... This little black like rubber stopper is like a break. So any grated hard cheese, this is absolutely perfect for. If you're doing ginger or garlic, sometimes it gets stuck on the back. You just kind of take your finger and then, of course, tap, 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 and it'll be done. Okay? Robin X, will that knife sharpener wear out your blades? Will it wear out your blades? Absolutely. But you are only going to use it maybe twice a year on your knives and... This knife, again, from 1986, I've used it for uh, about seven years with this here, and I'm going to have this another 10, 12 years probably, okay? So it's got a really good edge. Go ahead, Chris. Uh, Linda said, hi, Chef Robin, Chris. Hello, Linda. What is a good size fry pan if you're only purchasing one? If you're only purchasing one, uh, and if let's say it's just for you or maybe one other person in your house, 
uh, I would say a 9 to 12 inch is a nice safe pan. You don't want something too small, but you don't want something that goes over the burner. Because if it goes over the burner, only the part that it's covering the burner is going to brown or sear whatever you may want. So I would say in between 9 and 12. But that may be something it sounds like go to the store and visualize what you really want. Okay, Because it could be misleading when you uh, buy online. Okay. Jonex, do you sharpen scissors? Absolutely. With this uh, belt sander that I have, it will sharpen the scissors too. Linda X, do you ever use carbon steel pans? Carbon steel pans? Uh, I have used them. It's been quite a long time, but I have used them, yes. Joan said, love Chef Rob videos. Thanks for the info. Thank you. Darlene X, is one better off buying knives that you do not need to sharpen? At some point, you are going to need to sharpen them. You remember how they said the Ginsu knife years ago? All right? Everything loses something over time, okay? Uh, even me, okay? So, uh, yes. Uh, somehow, when it says you can't, uh, you don't need to sharpen this ever again, you will need to sharpen it. You may not need to sharpen it a long time, but if you're soaring brick or something like that, it's not going to work too well. I'm just going to go on to something else. This is actually a tomato cora, okay? When I was working in the restaurant, you know what we used to call this? The belly buttoner. That's what we would call it because all you do is just go like this and it comes right out. Nice little stocking stuffer, right, Chris? Yes. You want one? I'm going to go put it right in your stocking right yeah. now. But you don't waste much tomato, anything like that. And now I know for dinner, I got to have a tomato. Yes. Because now that it's open, got to have a tomato. Rena X, are copper pots worth the money? And what would you, hold on. And what would you most use one for? Uh, hello, Rena. I was glad to meet you the other day. And uh, yes, copper pots are good. Uh, there are different quality ones, you know, different brands out there. So definitely do your homework on it. Um, those can be used almost for anything from eggs to searing steak to cooking vegetables uh, to making a frittata in a pan and then sticking it in the oven so there are many different uses and it slides right out a lot of times you don't need to spray it you don't need to put anything down on it it just kind of falls right out of the pan Nancy said someone told me to use a coffee cup bottom to sharpen knives intermediately what do you think it, it does work, absolutely. Uh, there's all different knife things out there. If you don't have anything else in the house, you turn over your coffee cup, at least you'll get an edge. But you won't get an edge like that knife sharpener that I showed you, though. Okay, But, again, it is $130. So it depends how much cooking and baking you're going to use. So I want to show everybody a little something that's just kind of a fun thing. This is from Costco. Different colored cups. And when you put something cold in it, they change colors. So for a party, for kids, anything like that, it can be a lot of fun. Okay, so now you if they don't like water, you tell them, oh, it's Kool-Aid. It's water, just blue, right? So different, different cups. They sell like, I think a dozen of these come in a pack. Put them in this color here. Just makes for a different type of gift. And this should turn red real soon. And uh, they're, they're about 10 to $12. And I would think around Thanksgiving they're going to get cheaper too. I'm actually going to show you the packaging for that. And oh yes, Janelle, microwave safe. Okay. Or you mean the uh, dishwasher safe. Dishwasher safe, yes. Not microwave. <laughs> so, yep, so 12 pack. And they're, yeah, in around the $15 for this pack, but they will get to $9.99, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, I always like to tell everybody some things about prices as well, too. One of the things, if you, if you are a Costco shopper, just so you know, if you ever see a price in there that ends with a 7, whether it's $9.97, uh, Eighty-seven, ninety-seven. As long as it ends in a seven, you will never find a better price. Okay, because what it means is they bought so many of them, 
they're done with it, they're not going to have them back, and they want to get rid of them. So if it ends in a seven, it's a great, great buy. And Sam's Club, they have a magic number as well, and theirs is one. So anything that ends in a one in Sam's Club is a steal. It's great, okay? And then BJ's, do they have a number? No, they just lower the price to get rid of it. Go ahead. Patty X, what do you recommend to core apples? To core apples? Uh, I don't have it with me. I, it's one of, could be a gadget and gizmo, but I only had so many things I could do. Uh, it's a metal, kind of a metal pipe, uh, a little handle on it, and it cores apples great. They're about $7. Look up Bed Bath, Bed Bath & Beyond, something like that, Walmart. They have them. They're really, really good. Gail said, still love my blue diamond pens. They're nonstick and so far completely scratch proof. Gail, keeping us up to date on those pans. She also asks, are the chemicals inside or outside the cups? Uh, the chemicals, uh, I would say that they're not on the outside or anything like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be able to sell it if it was outside and went into the water. Because if you move it into a different cup, water is the same color. Costco is, is such a great buy. They have unbelievable buyers there of, of certain products. And they are very health conscious so uh, they really do look out, out for it. The sometimes things get by, I'm sure, but they are really good. And almost all the time you go there, their products are great. Janelle said, LOL, you read my mind. And also, someone named Jackie X, is there a cup that makes water look like iced tea? Water that makes look like iced tea. So that is my wife out there. She's trying to get me to drink more water, less iced tea, okay? So, uh... Yeah, hon, I'm having my uh, iced tea now. Okay. Uh, let's see. Also, um, Joan X, have you ever used a Bing Cherry Pitter? Bing Cherry Pitter. I have not. Have you? Rena said, my mother used to make butter curls for special holiday meals. Is there a tool for that? Uh, there is a, a special tool for that. Uh, the name of it. Don't know. I it's been years. I think I when I was a personal chef, I used to use that. Uh, go on Amazon; it'll come right up, though. Nancy X, what do you think of tomato slicers? Mine never work. Any brand you recommend? Tomato slice. You know what I would say? Get that knife sharpener and then just use it. A knife that was really sharp. Those are perfect. Okay, uh, it would work really good. Uh, let's see. Also. Patty said it's probably embedded into the cup's plastic. Yeah, most likely. It could be, yeah, absolutely. Um, as far as the uh, tomato slicer, there's not a, a brand, you know, it's more on the tomato part, okay? You know those real hard, solid tomatoes? Those are the tomatoes that are going to slice really good, but those are the tomatoes you really don't want. You want a nice local tomato that is maybe has a little softness to it, that won't slice really good, that you want to use a regular knife for. Okay, I want to show everybody this. This, the brand is OXO. So if I have a very hot pot and I need to take it off the stove, I bring this to the libraries many times. I just put it right on there, okay, and it will absorb the heat. It absorbs the cold, and it is really perfect for the dishwasher as well, too. If you need to have steam escape from the pots, you can buy these little things here, okay? And I did get these on Amazon. So they will stay up just like that. Other way. Okay, you will position them all, if you want just a little steam coming out, you put it like this. If you want more, you position it like that, okay? And they really do work well. Another yeah. stocking stuffer. Another stocking stuffer. You might be confused at first when you see it, but... Yeah, yeah. So, uh, these here are really good because if you're traveling with these, you don't have... If you live in an apartment storage space, these are strainers that flatten out. Dishwasher safe. But they're really, really good like that. They sell them in different colors. Okay and all different shapes. 
but these here kind of hold really good. They sell ones that have extenders that come out, will go over the sink. So that way if you're washing something over the sink and then you want it to kind of like air dry. And then when you're done with it, you just press down on it and put them in the dishwasher and they will fold away really, really good. Gail said that butter curler was on Amazon. On Amazon, yeah, I'm sure they have that. Yep. They have everything. They have everything. Okay. These here are the immersion blenders. Used this yesterday. I was doing a teen class and I made a tomato, or I should say the teens made a tomato basil soup with grilled mozzarella croutons. We had 18 teens come out. There are different brands out there. This one is Cuisinart. This one is Braun. Depends, of course, how big your pot is, how deep it's got to go. So you can see there's different heights of it. Okay. This one is far superior. Okay. The Cuisinart one. More powerful. Uh, I used San Marzano tomatoes yesterday, so when I would put it into, let's pretend this is a pot, you put it in there. If you put it towards the top, you will get a bath from this blender. It's called an immersion blender, okay? If you, you don't want to put it towards the bottom, but you want it to be close to the bottom. And since I use San Marzano tomatoes, they're very tender, so they actually kind of come right to this and just kind of get absorbed and uh, pureed really finely. But if you buy cheap tomatoes, you buy in a store brand, you're going to have to take this and kind of go on top of each tomato, okay? But these are really good. Again, this will be uh, uh, all the next couple weeks. Look for these on sale. Really, really cheap, okay? Okay, and then I'm going to move over some big toys after this one, Chris. This here... These are called safety grabs, okay, or safe grabs. And let's say you have some tomato sauce, maybe some meatballs in here. You just kind of drop it right on here and put it right into the microwave. If it splatters, all well, this gets dirty. You put it in the microwave, uh, in the um, dishwasher, you know, uh, and it will be fine. When it is done, since this bowl would be hot, you just go like this, okay? And if it's still really hot, you have another one, you put it right on top of it because these are heat resistant too, okay? So they take the cold, they take the heat. They can go up as high as $29, but they do have off brands. The off brands work just as well too, okay? So keep an eye on them, check on them. Chris, I'm gonna go over to that convection oven, okay? This is something I bring to the libraries so many times. Why do I feel like I'm on QVC right now? Huh? I know. <laughs> Four easy payments, okay? This convection oven, it's a Hamilton Beach. I have about five, six of these. Again, because I go to so many different libraries and have to have it ready for all different programs and never want to forget my oven. I bought these a couple of years ago at Kmart's and they were about $69 on sale. Right now they're about 115, 119. Uh, look online. What I always say is Google the product. Don't just go to Amazon because there's so many times you can get it somewhere else cheaper, okay? So Google the product. This here, you can fit two really large pizzas in here, the uh, frozen type pizzas. You can see how, how deep this really is. All right, and I'm going to pull that out here. You can do, do a rotisserie chicken in here. It comes with rotisserie bars, everything like that. Again, Hamilton Beach is not your, your biggest name brand, but I'll tell you what, this is just unbelievable. For what you get for about the $115, $120 now, they have gone up in price, but they are, they're worth every penny of it. Again, on Thanksgiving Day, the holidays coming up, you have this to the side, you still have your oven going, and you can plug this in as well, too. And it's a good spare oven. Okay, so if you have an oven that just broke down or something, you got this as a backup. You can always heat something up, okay? Uh, I am just going to show everybody this right here. 
Now, just because it's large, I don't want you to get scared off because they sell ones just for you at home. This is made for me that does, I don't do catering, but I do, I travel with hot food, cold food, everything. This here, this brand here is called Cambro. If you go to a street fair, if you have somebody catering a party, they should have these uh, with them because you have all these different level shelves in here and it goes far back. Again, there's different size ones. If I wanna put little ones here, you have to take aluminum foil, put it right over it. It has such a great seal on this here. It's like a little lock, a little locker. It locks up really well. Now I have recently been doing tur uh, turkey bolognese with orgette pasta at the libraries, and I boil the pasta ahead of time, and I will put it in here. I wrap it in aluminum foil, and four, five, six hours from now, it is still piping hot. Uh, if you make stuffing on Thanksgiving, and you need the, you don't have enough room in there with the turkey, you put the stuffing after it's been cooked right in here, it will be ready at dinner time. Something like this, you can see how big it is uh, against me here, okay? This unit here ranges from $339 to $379, but they sell smaller ones. They sell used ones, okay? So you can get them better prices. If you get a small one like this that you might just need two dishes to stay in there, so you travel, maybe you travel from... Uh, Maybe we travel from Long Island to uh, the Bradford Public Library, right? At, at, at Janelle's, right? Janelle, so, she just asked something. So if we go, when we go there, it will be piping hot when I leave my house right to your library. She asked, would food continue to cook in that carrier container? Uh, it depends what it is. If you're doing, like, say, like a chicken cacciatore that has, like, uh, it's chicken thighs that, you know, if you keep cooking it, the meat just kind of falls off and it just doesn't get tough. Uh, it's going to be just perfect. When I had the pasta in here for about four hours the other day, did not overcook, just kept it nice and steamy and uh, did not continue to cook, just kept the heat in there. Um, if you're doing something that has moisture, the moisture may get to it a little bit, okay? And... Uh, Depends on what the thing is, but if it's vegetables, uh, sweet potato casserole from Thanksgiving, put it in here, it's great. Again, everybody, don't get scared of it because you could buy a very small one, okay? What do you got, Chris? Nope, nothing. Nothing? All right. This is my favorite thing because I just bought this thing, okay? Because going back to the libraries, but even if today was my last day doing library classes, okay? Uh, I would still own one of these forever, okay? This is what it's called, Alpa Cool right here. Chris will zoom in on it. Don't let this brand just say, all right, this is what it is. And uh, there's so many different brands. Do your research on it. But so far, I've had this for, I guess, about a month. I love it. It is a refrigerator freezer. So if you travel... And I do bring this with me to the libraries, brought it to a library yesterday. This here, you could see right here, the temperature. What is it on there, Chris? How many degrees right now? 10 degrees. 10 degrees, okay. So I have a very cold bottle of water. I know you're probably saying it should be frozen, right? It needs to be 10 degrees for hours, okay? Really good, okay? cold so everybody what this is it has a basket just like this look how big it is how deep and then there's a little compartment over here you can turn this into a refrigerator or a freezer okay and then there at nighttime when i'm unloading the car it has a light in here so i can see it when the lights are out wherever i may be it plugs into the regular outlet, and then it also plugs into your cigarette lighter in your car. So when I travel, yesterday I was traveling with cooked turkey. Get to the libraries, and that cooked turkey, 
I had it at like 34 degrees. I had it tight cold, okay? So it works really well. You may not, this is about a 58 quart uh, refrigerator freezer. You may not need such a big one. You may need a 10 quart one. This one here is about $339 worth every penny, okay? It's so, so good. I can go to the stores in August and buy steak now. I can buy uh, cheese, milk, eggs, and I can stop and go to the beach for a while, okay? Everybody else has to go home to put it in the refrigerator. But you may not need such a big one. They sell ones that are like this big, where it almost holds like a six pack of, say, beer, soda, okay, water bottles, enough for sandwiches. So like if you're working and you go to the office every day, you, you keep it cold in your car as you're traveling, yogurts, anything like that. When you get to work, you just go plug a small little one in there, and they start at like $60, okay? I would say for the best choices of these, look on Amazon. The, the brands are endless. They go on and on, okay? But so far, I looked for months on this, and I love this one. This is not a gimmick, okay? It's not a gadget. This is my cookbook. If anybody is interested in it for the holidays, go to my Facebook page, Simply Creative Chef Rob. I have them on there. They are $15 and $3 shipping, okay? No gimmicks, though, about it. $10 off if you want them to sign it. Yes, no. yes, it goes down in value. So I'm gonna go back over to the other side again. So Chris, I'm gonna do what you said to plug that one right in. Let's see, um, Rita X, if it's not plugged in, does it work? If it's not, it either needs to be in the, re, uh, in the outlet, or in the car, but it has such a good seal on it, especially this time of the year as it gets colder, it will keep it even colder inside there. But it will contain that temperature for quite some time. Janelle said, I take the big freezer slash fridge camping. You, Janelle, do you have that, you mean, already? Or you would get it? And she said she would take it. it. It's unbelievable. It's so good. So good. Okay, so everybody, baking. If you want unusual size measurements, a lot of times I go to libraries, and I say that a lot, I go to libraries, but I do, that's what I do almost every day of my life, I go to libraries. And sometimes I need a three-quarter cup. Sometimes I have 40 people in front of me, so instead of taking a half cup and a quarter cup, and it taking 80 scoops from 40 people, I can keep that line moving by having a three-quarter cup, okay? Or are you putting it in front of whatever measurement you need for brownies or scones, and you don't make a mistake? This one here, one and three-quarter cups. This here, two tablespoons. If you just kind of Google uh, unusual measurements, you can get any measurement that you want, okay? And they are really, really good. Go ahead, Chris. Nope, don't nope. see anything. All right. These here are the baking mats. Now, I have some of these. These are the silicone baking mats. I have had some of these. This one, you can tell. I've had this for about at least 20 years. Okay? You bake everything on it. Cookies, scones, uh, uh, Irish soda bread I do on here. Dishwasher. It's great. Heating up pizza. It doesn't burn. It just keeps it really really protected. Now, years ago, these were like, I remember, they were about $20 when I bought it. These here now, this is the same size. These two right here. This, again, is from Costco, and then you get the smaller half tray. This is something that they almost always, at this time of the year, going right to December, have on sale. They're typically about $24. They will probably have them for about $15, $16 but three of them. I, I paid uh, $20 about 20, 20 something years ago. I got my money's worth though. I still got it, right? Joan said Chef Rob should have his own cooking TV show. Thank you, but no. <laughs> <laughs> and Rita X, have you ever used silicone baking molds and do you recommend them or not? The baking molds, uh, 
You know what? My mom used to have them. And uh, do I recommend... I'm not a big fan of them. And the reason is they're very flimsy. So, like, trying to just grab it out of the oven, I don't like that, okay? When I'm putting batter in it and then I'm holding 12 muffins trying to go to the oven, I'm not a big fan of it. Does it work? They work and they work fine, but I think this the old traditional is better. Go ahead, Chris. Lisa said, lucky man, goes to libraries every day. <laughs> I bet 20 years ago you never thought you'd go there every single day. No, no, 20 years ago, uh, I, yeah, I didn't know. And I have to tell everybody, uh, when you go into the libraries and talk to the librarians, you have to thank them because you have no idea. I had no idea until I started working with them how hard they have it and how hard it is them planning a program like this, you know, because I'm very difficult to work with. No, uh, so, no, it's a lot of work that's behind the scenes for them to bring these programs to you. So thank them. Bring them some candy, okay? Baked goods, anything like that, okay? They're all out there saying, yeah, bring it tomorrow. Okay. I use this a lot in my classes. It's a KitchenAid hand mixer. There are so many different ones out there. There's a Cuisinart one that I like a lot better, and I have that one. You have to make sure you know the wattage, okay? Because if you're doing mashed potatoes, and you turn it on high, and it's kind of fighting the motor, you're burning this motor out, okay? A lot of times, the cheaper ones, and this one is more on the cheaper one, these will actually, and you can actually see it, it's a little bit off. This one isn't, but it's starting to bend a little bit. And then you kind of kind of fix it just a little bit. I have it unplugged, everybody, so don't worry. I will leave with 10 fingers after this uh, class. Okay. So now, this actually has become a favorite in our house. This is a great gift for just any age, anybody. It's a retro s'mores kit. It's about $35. You can get them on Walmart, Target, Amazon, short, a lot of other places, okay? So you put this on your cocktail table at nights, okay? I have these super jumbo marshmallows, and you just put them right on here. I have it plugged in. All you have to do is uh, turn it on, okay? There's a little switch right here, and plug it in, and they get nice and gold and crisp really, really quickly. Go ahead. Joan X, any ideas for making flan easy style? Flan easy style? Like a, a certain brand or certain... Um, no, I, I, I don't have anything for that. Uh, I've done the flan, but uh, I don't have a certain brand, so I don't want to send you in the wrong direction. While I'm toasting this marshmallow, I want to tell everybody what I have coming up virtually on November 20th, a food festival. It's at three o'clock and it's the Thanksgiving food festival. Check the library that you are at now. If not, you can look at other libraries that are on here. And I'm sure if some of the libraries want to post, uh, feel free. And it's a Thanksgiving food festival. It's three o'clock Eastern time. We're gonna do a turkey corn chowder for leftover turkey. Pairs with mixed greens and dried cranberries. And that's starting to get toasty. Uh, and then we're doing pumpkin snickerdoodle cookies. Then on December 11th, we're doing our, I can't believe it's our second now, second annual cookie festival. And we are going to do it at 1 o'clock. We're starting it early because a lot of people do bake along with us. And that way they can kind of make that whole day baking and making all the stuff and then bake them at night. We're doing chocolate crackle cookies, sprinkle batter cookies, and blizzard white chocolate chips. Lisa said Long Branch will have it. Thank you, Lisa. And how are you, Lisa? Little burnt piece got on here. Okay, but look how it toasts up really nice. During the winter, when you're doing movies, something like that, really, really something fun to do. $35. I do have that box. You have it over by you, Chris? Uh, here it is. I got it hidden. This 
is the box. Nostalgia. But I have seen other ones on there and I am sure that they all work just as well too. Now, it comes with these four compartments that you could put chocolate, you can put marshmallows, but for some odd reason, they only give you two. And no, it was, well, it, it's not a mistake, but it should be a mistake because they're giving you four compartments, they should have four of these, but they're probably saying, well, four people can't go like this at one time. That's true. So, unless well, I am using a really giant marshmallow. Okay. Oh, thank you. I gave that to my cameraman. Wonderful. Yep. That's my pay for the day. Now this, the food processor. I have a few different ones. You saw my... Uh, I don't think I showed the Ninja one earlier. This is a mini one. This one here is really, really good. These are about $15 to $18 for this. You just put that on here, this lid. Put that on here and just tap, 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 and it pulses it. It makes salsa, uh, dressings, anything like that. It's really, really good. One year, everybody got these as gifts. This one here, it's called, here's the brand, Chris, that you want to zoom in on. It's called Wearing, and it's a commercial grade one. So it is of high, high quality. It's a couple hundred dollars, but worth every penny. I've had this for so many years. It's a hard, hard plastic. So it has not broken. They do sell other ones, really cheap plastic. One little wrong snap, and you are going to be buying another one, okay? But... Always keep the box, especially if you buy them at like a Costco or something like that, because Costco, if you know their return policy, they are unbelievable. If you have that box and you go back three years later, you will get your money back, okay? You really will. Uh, let me see. This here. This is a mandolin. Really good for slicing zucchini or shaving anything really, really sharp. There's a little lock on the side to open this up, and you do want the lock. OXO, again, is the brand. A little stand to go like this. Take zucchini. When you do the zucchini, you want to just shave it right down, and with the blade on the side, you can kind of thicken it, thin it or make it really thick. Do not take a zucchini and just do this by your hand. Because if you do this by hand, you're going to get down to this little part here. And I know somebody that did not use their guard and hold it like this. And they have nine right now. Okay, so please be really, really cautious. Virginia X, what brand is the Mini Pulsar? The Mini Pulsar is Ninja. Let me hold that up again. And they have them in all different colors. They have them green, blue, red, every white, okay, black, all that. Um, I think I have hit everything. Uh, actually, I have a panini grill here. I have two. I want to show everybody the two differences. I bought panini grills years ago, and I love them because I use them for so many different things. There's different ones. This one here is the Bella one, which the brand, no great shakes, but does the job. Plug it in, put it on minimum, medium, or high. One of the downfalls to this is you have to kind of hold it up, take a brush, and then take your hose and just kind of let everything run off into the sink, squirt it off, and let it kind of air dry. Okay, so a little bit of a downfall. And then it is on a tilt, so you do have to put a little bit of a pan right here uh, for any drippings. I'm going to show you a better quality one. Go ahead, Chris. The Monmouth County Library X, is the mandolin dishwasher safe? Uh, yes, it is. Yep, very, very, dish. yep, totally dishwasher safe. And Rena X, what do you use to poach fish like salmon, and how do you use it? They do sell a pan where if you are doing a whole big uh, fish for poaching, so you can buy a fish poacher, okay? Just look that up. There's different ones. If you just do it once in a while, you just do it into a regular pot, okay? And just simmer it in there, 
and uh, poached salmon. I used to do that one as a personal chef and that. They had a, uh, a fish poacher, so uh, that was really good. What's good about this one, this one is a Cuisinart one. They sell all different models. This one is the Cuisinart Deluxe, which is really good. And you just pop this out, and this can go in the dishwasher just like this. You can take the little brush to it, but you can clean this really good. And then this pops in and out just so easily. And since this kind of comes down at a nice pace like right here, it will even everything. Where the other one, it's on a slant. So if you have something high and then something a little low here, uh, it's not going to cook it evenly. This one goes for about $129. It is the Cuisinart Deluxe. They have one more model that's better than this. And what's better about it is just that it's a higher temperature. So if you really want to get those grill marks on there, really, really good. This does it. I don't think I need the Elite. The Elite one is about $180. They have a basic one that's about $69. If you're just cooking for yourself, the basic one is fine. One day I was coming out of a library, and why is there black tape on here? Well, I dropped this thing, and I, and I had just bought it, so it hurt that day. So you go into a class, going to make a living, and you come out and you drop it. You know? So that's the lesson you learn. Never bring one to a library. No. Yeah. So, no, tape it up when you're done, and be careful coming out. But you know what? It still works great. Uh, I would buy this one over and over again. Uh, before we do go, even though this is Gadgets and Gizmos, I know Thanksgiving is coming up. Uh, in case I don't see anybody before then, of course, Happy Thanksgiving to you and your families. Uh, I want to show you two different squashes that I absolutely love, okay? Uh, not everybody goes out and buys these squashes, okay? So this squash right here, this is called the Delcata squash, and... The skin here, very waxy, that you can't eat if it's raw. If you roast it and cut cube it, it is excellent. A little cinnamon, a little uh, olive oil, kosher salt, black pepper, pumpkin pie spice, whatever you want to put on it. But it's called really the sweet potato squash. And what are the two really like uh, hints of flavor that you get out of it? The aroma, you would get sweet corn so if you had fresh corn and pumpkin pie combined that's what this will taste like okay and it's delcata squash and this one here is acorn squash it's in the acorn squash family it's carnival squash this is the name of it okay to know it's ripe it should be pretty dull in color okay a real shiny one means it's really not truly ripe yet okay this here, uh, same thing, the skin, right now too tough to eat, but once it's roasted, you could eat the whole thing. You do wanna split this down the middle, pop all of the seeds out. Okay, you could stuff this. Uh, you could make a little drizzle of like a little honey or uh, maple syrup with cinnamon, butter, brown sugar, and it tastes really, really good. If I stuffed it, I would do it with cranberries, apples, pears, walnuts, and it'd be delicious. Go ahead, Chris. Uh, Virginia X, any brand name air fryer you prefer? Uh, I only own this one, and it was just the original air fryer, that one there. I have heard of the, the Ninja one that people have in, uh, good success on. Uh, my home stove has an air fryer built into it, but I don't feel it's, a, it's good, but it's not as good as what I see like from the regular traditional air fryer. Go ahead, Chris. Uh, let's see. Lisa X, what temperature to roast? For the squash, anywhere from 350 to 375. And if you were to cut this in half, this size here, you are looking at about 45 to 50 minutes. You want a knife to just kind of slide right through. Okay, really nice and easy. Okay. Let's see. Rita said, Happy Thanksgiving. Thank Marianne said, Happy Thanksgiving, Rob. Thank you, Mary. And Terry said, Thanks for sharing, Chef Rob. Happy Thanksgiving from Florida. Thank you, Terry. Thank you. Where are you in Florida? I'm going tomorrow. <laughs> My wife and I. So, uh, yeah, let me know where you are in Florida. 
Um, not that I can come to you, uh, but I'm uh, just curious. You had a lot of rain in Florida yesterday, I know. I heard Tampa had three inches. So anybody with any questions or comments before we go, if not, I hope to see everybody on the food festival. Check out my Facebook page, Simply Creative Chef Rob, and you can watch old videos. You can watch our our last year's uh, baking uh, um, cookie demonstration, and uh, I think that was December 10th last year. Go ahead, Chris. Rena asks, what gadget do you still want to try? Do I still want to try? I guess, believe it or not, I have not tried the Instapot yet, but all I hear is positive on it. As you see, uh, this takes up a lot of room in my home, so uh, my wife won't let me get any more, okay? Nancy X, Nancy how do you make butter creamy as in the, as in the restaurants? Butter creamy as it is in the restaurants? When, when they're in the restaurants, what they do, it, it's a softened butter, okay? That's really what it is. Uh, they don't really do anything to it unless they're doing a cinnamon butter or maple butter or something like that. Like with the acorn squash, if I wanted to make a butter, like a butter glaze for this uh, carnival squash, I would take softened butter, brown sugar, cinnamon, maple syrup, a little salt, whisk it together, and just drizzle it right on there and let it roast, and it'll come out unbelievable. Terry said Lando Lakes, north of Tampa. Lynn, so you did have rain yesterday, right, Terry? I hope it's getting better. I heard it's going to get a little chillier, though. And also a few people saying thank you and You're happy welcome. Thanksgiving. And Ann Prudy said have a nice trip. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Everybody, enjoy. I hope it was informative. Uh, if you do camping, you do tailgating, that refrigerator freezer, phenomenal. Really good. Okay, but look... Don't just be uh, to the one brand. Look at all the different options that you have. If you're not sure of the size that you need, go to like a Dick's Sporting Goods and just look at coolers. And you'll see the size, because they don't sell these there, but you can see the size of coolers. And if you see the size of uh, 18-quart uh, cooler and you say, that's the size I would want, that's the size refrigerator freezer you want to buy. Okay? Everybody, thank you so much, and have a great day, okay? Bye-bye.